votes, 1,385, 1,385, no votes, 2,274, the bond issue is defeated. There is a difference of 889 votes between the, the two tallies I just gave you and 176 absentee ballots, which will not affect the outcome. Voters have decided that they do not want this. I am disappointed. I thought that people in this district cared more for their children, cared more for our future than what they've demonstrated today. But they have decided no, and we have to accept that and abide by it. There isn't anything that we really can do about it. You know, we go back to the drawing board on the 23rd. The board has to decide uh, what they want to do in terms of the crumbling buildings and not having uh, good facilities for our children. Uh, it's a sad day for Riverhead, and there's no question that it's a sad day. I don't believe that our children deserve second-class facilities. But the public did speak, and we have to abide by that, and uh, the board will figure out what the next st stop is. You know, you get thrown lemons in life all the time, try to make lemonade out of it. That's the best I can say. Thank you very much. Okay. I was surprised how big the spread was. I really was. I thought it would be a close vote. I was really surprised it was such a big spread. I think a lot of it had to do with the economy, obviously. Um, but I also think that um, there were a lot of special interests out there voting against something in the plan. So, you know, you add all that stuff up and, you know, we worked hard. You know, we went out there, we educated the public. Maybe we educated them too much. That could have been a problem too. Yeah. But, you know, we did our best and it is what it is. Thank you very much. I'm surprised. I thought it would be a lot closer vote. Um, we had a lot of parents come out and, um, you know, I'm sad that it was defeated. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it all ties into having a good community and making Riverhead a, a good place to live. And uh, um, I was very surprised by the outcome. And, um, you know, we have to, as a board, take a look at this and see how we're going to handle it. But um, it was all about the kids and trying to increase the value of their education and giving them the spaces and opportunities that other people before them that have, ha have had. And, um, you know, somebody obviously paid for them. And to come out and defeat this for the children of our community, I just think is, a, is not a good thing. It comes down to a cup of coffee a day. It's $200 a year. Give up the coach pocketbook and a new pair of shoes and, you know, do something right for the, for the kids. Because some, somebody's paid for your education. Well, do you think it failed? Why do I think it failed? I think it's a sign of the times. Uh, economic times are, um, you know, very tough. I think there's probably more people in trouble uh, fiscally than we, we think. Um, and I think, you know, that's something that will, will be um, uh, start to show up. I think the worst is not behind us yet as far as the economy goes. I just have a funny feeling. Uh, in talking with people around the community as I circulate, um, I'm starting to find that more and more people are in trouble financially. And this is indicative of, of uh, you know, what I've been feeling on the feedback from the community as I circulate with people and talk. Um, I'm disappointed. I feel like it was very important for the board to allow the community to make a decision, to put something up for the community, and then it would be obviously up to them whether or not they felt they could afford it or not. I realize that economically these are very difficult times and that a lot of people felt too strapped financially to afford the extra money that this would have. But I did feel it was reasonable and as much as it really wouldn't have been much um, cumulatively each year it would have been approximately two hundred and I believe thirty um, dollars a year for a home of um, an approximate value of 400000 So um, I think it was about as reasonable as we could make it and still address the needs of the district. So I'm disappointed, but I understand.